So, if you don't see templates for profit building, what do you do? Well, first things first, always back your site up, right? What we want to do, if we're using cash plugin like this guy here, which is W3 Total Cash, what we want to do is clear the cash. Purge all caches, right? You can do it from here. So, once that's done, the next thing we want to look for is minify. We don't want these settings on because it can cause problems. So we'll come on over to performance and minify. So this we leave. And okay, so we want to uncheck uncheck and okay so that's it so we will save settings and just make sure that that took okay looks like it did perfect okay now the next thing we'll do is hit control and f5 to do a hard refresh Okay, next thing we want to do is pop on over to our cPanel and check our memory settings. For that, we usually type in PHP, and depending on the host, you'll see different options. In this case, you'll see uh, multi-PHP manager and editor, so I'll click on there and see what we find. Okay. So, first of all, we want to make sure okay, that the PHP is set correctly. Yes. Just double check here. Okay, that's good so far. Go back home. Check the memory settings just to be on the safe side. Now what I'm doing here is I'm checking to see what the options are and they all look good with the exception of this, which will change to that. Basically, we're making it unlimited. And then we click apply. Now, we don't normally do this. If you're not sure about this, ask your host to do it for you. Or if you are, do it yourself. But always back your site up. So we'll click apply. Okay, so that's done. So let's go here to plugins. And take a quick look here. What I'm looking for is profit builder. Okay, so that's fine. And let me just see here. Seems to be a little slow to load. Okay, so the other thing we can do is deactivate the plugins. Right? And again, make sure your site's backed up.
go ahead and deactivate everything. And the next thing I'll do is I'll just go ahead, delete Profit Builder and Profit Builder theme, and then re-download them so that they're fresh and reinstall them. And I'm going to pause the video while I do that because I don't want to show, um, you know, licensing information because of privacy. Now, one thing to note when you want to delete the theme, you need to briefly switch over to a different theme to do that. And so now we just go to theme details, hit delete. All right. And now I'm going to go and download everything. Okay. So that's done. So I'm going to go and add a new plugin. Upload the plugin. Then I'm going to activate it because we have to have the Profit Builder plugin active before we install and activate the theme. And of course, it helps if you actually delete the plugin, which I obviously didn't. <laughs> Let's see. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> we'll delete this and then we'll upload it again. Oh, the joys of live video. Okay, so add new, upload plugin, choose file, right. There we go, so we'll activate this. Then we'll go over to the themes. And go ahead and upload the theme. And I'll be back when that's done. There we go. We'll activate the theme. And it looks like there's an update for it, so we'll update it as well. There we go. And we need to install visual icon fonts, so we'll do that as well. All right, that's installed, so we'll just go ahead and activate that. And as we can see, here are our templates, right? So now, oh, and as an aside, if you see templates marked club, then you'll need to join the uh, template club, which is a new and optional monthly purchase for both new customers and previous uh, profit builder customers. It's not required. And there are a lot of new themes that are not uh, club themes, and there's also quite a few new themes that aren't actually marked as new that I've found. But if you look at this, there looks to be over a hundred here, so you've got a lot of choice with what you can do. So now that we've got our templates going, all we need to do is very simply go ahead and one by one, just reactivate your, your uh, plugins. So at this point, I would say this was most likely a conflict between either the cache plugin or uh, a different plugin here, but 
that is generally how we fix things. And the big thing too is you want to make sure that you don't have those minify settings on in your cache plugin uh, because that really can cause problems. Um, the other thing that we tend to suggest is a service called Cloudflare. And you can find that at cloudflare.com. C-L-O-U-D-F-L-A-R-E dot com. And that does the same thing as a cache plugin, but you don't need to have a plugin. And that is how you go through the troubleshooting process.